For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and also demoing a variety of products from the Isn't Tree Chestnut line. So these are specifically kind of intended for those that are wanting to kind of clarify their skin. Maybe you have acne prone skin. Um, and then also I'm going to be talking about the Mugwort Calming Ampule. The packaging is a bit different, so you might not recognize this, but you might recognize it if you saw the other packaging. If you are somebody who has tried Isentree before or who has seen Isentree's products. This used to be called their Spot Saver Mugwort Ampule and now it's called their Mugwort Calming Ampule. I've been testing out these products for a month so I will be showing you my before and after pictures so you guys can see the results that I've gotten so far. These were super kindly gifted to me by Isentree but this video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to talk about this and as always opinions are honest and my own. My goal is to help you with the content that I create so I really hope you guys enjoy this and find it helpful. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm gonna start off with their Chestnut BHA 2% Clear Liquid. So I've been using this like a toner. Now they actually do have another toner in their Chestnut line. It is called their Chestnut BHA 0.9% clear toner. So this is not titled a toner, but this is their Chestnut BHA 2% clear liquid. And I believe actually the packaging for all of these products has changed from what maybe you have seen it look like before in the past. This is supposed to mildly clear and tighten pores. It is a two-in-one pore care BHA that clears pores. So this is supposed to gently exfoliate the skin, tighten the pores, or hopefully make them less noticeable, strengthen the skin barrier, and also balances the oil and water balance on your skin. So who this is for? is supposed to be for anybody who has enlarged pores, oily and combination skin, which is what I have. I would say I am more on the combination side. And then also those who do deal with blemishes. So those who want to get rid of any kind of like acne on the skin, I wouldn't say like super severe acne, but if you are dealing with some breakouts, this might be a product that you'd be interested in. But I also think it's very, very gentle. So if you do have more severe acne, um, I do think it is something that you could use, but always kind of like patch test and see how products work for you before really going all in, just because this does have BHAs, so it really depends on how your skin tolerates with BHAs, and that's definitely like a personal thing. To me, this is super, super gentle, does not cause any irritation at all, it's actually quite calming. So again, this is mild exfoliation, it's supposed to help with gently exfoliating your skin, get rid of some dead skin cells without causing any irritation, and it's supposed to help with smoothing out skin texture, again, because it is removed Removing those dead skin cells it kind of helps to smooth out the skin texture as well and then it's supposed to be good for those who have cakey makeup <laughs> you know smoothing out skin texture can be very helpful for making sure that you are not gonna have cakey makeup so those are some of the things that it mentions on the isn't tree website they use upcycled chestnut shells and they tannin contained in chestnut shells helps tighten pores reduce sebum and balance water and oil levels of the skin this also uses salicylic acid 2% which to help to remove dead skin cells. This also contains three types of hyaluronic acid. It has sodium hyaluronate, hyaluronic acid, and hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. So these three types of hyaluronic acid generate hydration barrier and prevent it from evaporating. I love this. I am almost done with it, but I feel like I could definitely use this probably for a couple of more weeks, but I have been absolutely loving this. And my whole intention in using this chestnut line was to try to, you know, help to make sure or prevent future breakouts and then also evening out my skin tone helping to um, reduce or fade dark spots because I do still have some dark spots from my past acne and that is why I really wanted to try these out because I thought that these would be great for helping to fade the post acne marks so that's what I was looking for in my results to see if it would help with that but of course it is helpful for you know gently exfoliating the skin as well, getting rid of dead skin cells, smoothing out skin texture. It does say that it's supposed to help with like enlarged pores. I don't really feel like I saw a difference in my pore size, honestly, but I do think this does a great job at gently exfoliating the skin. My skin has felt extremely smooth since I have been using these products and just my skin has felt so soft and it's looked really nice and clear. And I definitely think that these, using these all together has helped with um, preventing breakouts. I really like this. I feel like it's quite calming and it's super gentle. So this is, I love it. 
I really have enjoyed this. So then the next product is their Chestnut AHA Clear Essence. This used to be called their Clear Skin 8% AHA Essence. Again, it has a new packaging. Newly returned Renewal AHA Essence Chestnut AHA 8% Clear Essence. They apparently upgraded the ingredients in here. It says it's supposed to more effectively smooth texture. So this is an essence for skin texture care with a new solution of chestnut shells. This is supposed to give smooth skin texture with the synergy effect of tannin and castanea Cronata shell extract and AHA. It's supposed to be a low irritant, dead skin cell care, tidying up of skin texture, pore care, skin tone improvement. So it honestly sounds pretty similar to the BHA clear liquid, except for this is using AHA and it's using 8% and this is in an essence form. As far as the texture goes, I would say, you know, the essence is a little bit a little bit thicker than the toner but i feel like i don't even want to use that word thicker because this is not thick at all it really kind of feels like almost like water it's very very light and very liquidy and this is supposed to be good for sensitive skin and a dry skin those are the skin types it's supposed to be for again i have combination skin i was using it to help with gently exfoliating and evening out the skin tone and again i really really like this it feels really nice on the skin it feels very like calming and soothing going on and i definitely feel like it is just kind of like soothed my skin as well um, it says it's supposed to smooth the dull skin so Again, that can help with evening out the skin tone or fading dark spots. So again, that's what I was testing it for. And I will show you my before and after pictures so you guys can see the results that I got. Um, but I do really like both of these. It's probably a spoiler alert already. I love all of these products. I feel like my skin has just responded really well to them. But this is a low irritation AHA. So if you have sensitive skin and you want something to gently exfoliate your skin, this might be something that you would like. Next, the Mugwort Calming Ampule. This used to be called their Spot Saver Mugwort Ampule, but it's supposed to be a magical time for making skin clean and clear. So I originally got this because the name of it was called Spot Saver. So I was hoping that it would help with post acne marks. With this new name, I would think it would just be something that's like really calming and soothing, but I believe mugwort is an ingredient that's supposed to help with fading dark spots. So this is skin soothing, moisturizing, skin barrier care, and skin texture care. This contains 85% capillary wormwood that soothes irritation and clarifies the skin. Only the effective ingredients of mugwort are extracted. This is also good for skin barrier care. Again, this is supposed to be a very low irritation product. It's supposed to be very calming and soothing. It has beta carotene to help with the skin barrier. It also has some vitamins in here to soothe irritated skin. It also has chlorogenic acid to strengthen the skin barrier for firmer skin. And Cineol, it makes skin stronger and healthier. Because this is the ampule, this is kind of like the serum step or the treatment step. So looking at my before and after pictures, we'll really be able to see how much this has helped with fading my post acne marks. I hope that it has done a little. Honestly, I don't think it has done a whole lot just yet for fading the post acne marks, but fading acne marks takes, you know, it takes time. And again, I've only been using this for a month. So also put that into consideration, but that is one of the main things that I wanted to use this for. But it looks like now, I don't know if they changed any ingredients, um, but I don't, I don't know if they did, did change ingredients or if they just changed the packaging for this, but again, before it was called their spot saver. So I would think that would help with fading dark spots. But anyway, it seems like it's supposed to be very calming. This feels really nice on the skin. It's lightweight. It is very calming on the skin, very soothing. I have really, really enjoyed this. It feels great on the skin and it hasn't caused any breakouts or anything like that. It's definitely very, very gentle. And I would say it would be great for those who have a sensitive skin. So then lastly, their Chestnut PHA 5% Clear Cream. This has definitely become one of my new favorite moisturizers. The texture of this is so nice. It goes on really nice and lightweight, but it's still very moisturizing to the skin. I'd say it's great for my combination skin. If you have oily skin, I think it would also be great for you. If you have dry skin, potentially you might want something that's a little bit more moisturizing, but I have never felt like my skin has not been enough moisturized when I use this. But it sinks into the skin pretty quickly too, but it just 
it feels really really nice on the skin and it's great I feel like it's done a great job of helping to keep my skin clear as well PHA exfoliating cream for glowy skin it says it gently evens out the skin and adds a dewy radiance to it it's supposed to help with evening out skin texture minimizing the pores and replenishing moisture also supposed to be hyperallergenic exfoliation again this is supposed to be good for combination skin sensitive skin and dry skin it says it's supposed to be daily texture treatment dewy radiance it's almost like a it's not a gel it's, it's like a it's almost like a really light gel cream in my opinion as far as the texture goes because you can also use this for those who want to exfoliate elbows and knees so that's interesting so you could use it on your body as well if you would like the chestnut shells ingredients in here contains active ingredients that help with smoother skin in order to upcycle discarded chestnut shells is tree came up with an efficient way to extract the active ingredients from the chestnut shells and then they use it in their products chestnut shells are rich in tannin which is effective for refining pores this ingredient will help boost the skin condition and tighten pores again supposed to be something that's going to help with evening out the skin tone and give the skin a nice glowy look i love this this has worked really really well for my skin it's a nice lightweight moisturizer i feel like in the summer and spring this is definitely like a go-to and but even in the winter or colder weather i think this would be great but if you do want more moisture or your skin gets really dry you might want um, a moisturizer that is more moisturizing, if that makes sense. Um, but I absolutely love these. I am very impressed with all of these. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my before and after pictures. And then I will, again, let you know my overall thoughts. So those are the before and after pictures over a month of using the products. Maybe there's not a huge difference, but I definitely do think that it has helped a little. I don't really think that it has helped a whole lot with like minimizing pores. I feel like my pores still kind of are somewhat obvious, but um, if you're not looking up close, my pores, I don't feel like they're terrible, but I just don't really feel like I saw like a, a minimizing of pores or tightening of pores necessarily. I do think that these are great for gently exfoliating the skin. I think it helps with preventing breakouts just cause they're nice, simple and soothing products. I feel like as far as like preventing breakouts, using products that are not irritating is super important. Products that are just gonna be very gentle and soothing to the skin, I think makes a big difference if you are somebody who deals with breakouts and I am definitely acne prone so these are great and I only have had like one breakout throughout the time that I was using it and it's this right here but it's healing now um, and that was honestly definitely probably a result of me not eating the best so definitely not fault of the skincare but I feel like these have done a great job at just keeping my skin clear I definitely do think I have noticed improvement in evening out the dark spots I think I would need to use it longer in order to see more obvious results but that makes sense that's how skincare is it takes time to see results as far as fading dark spots though I definitely have tried like other serums this is an ampule but it's kind of like that serum step or that treatment step and and while I do think that this is nice, it's very nice and calming, um, I've definitely seen like results as far as fading my post acne marks. I've seen results from other products faster or more drastic results for my dark spots, but that's okay. Also, they don't really market this as really helping with like dark spots anymore. It's really just supposed to be like a calming ampule. And I do think that it is that. It's a really, really nice product. I absolutely love it. So great for calming the skin. If you have any irritation, it is great. They're all super gentle. Great way to gently exfoliate the skin in a way that's not going to be irritating at all. Products that are all going to be very calming and soothing. And yeah, so overall, I'm impressed. They did do what I thought they would do, but maybe not as quick of results as I would have wanted. But obviously, skincare just it doesn't always give quick results and that's just the truth that's how it is it doesn't mean that they're bad products it doesn't mean that they don't work but it just takes time to work i feel like if i use these for like three months i definitely would notice a more obvious improvement 
um, but even within a month I definitely do think that I have seen a bit of improvement and just from using these my skin has felt really soft and I think my skin has looked really healthy and glowy as well um, and looking less dull as well. I feel like my skin was looking somewhat dull so I think this has helped to make my skin look less dull. So I'm impressed with these. I love them all. If you guys do want to check them out I will have them listed and linked in the description box below. Of course you can get them from the Isn't Tree website if you want. I do have a discount for Salvana if you are interested so I will have all that information in the description box below so make sure to check that out if you are interested in trying any of these. If you guys do have any questions please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and if you're new here and you're not already subscribed I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe. But anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for my next video. Thank you.